Hey everyone, I am inking a lovely little drawing I just did. Uh, for Inktober, I was lazy yesterday, so um, I have to do two today. Um, so I'm doing soup for my family, Matapacos, who's a dog who is like a Chilean kind of symbol of uh, like he like hated cops and uh, so there's like stories of him. And I've been waiting to draw him and I had this idea this morning so I don't even need the prompts. I do need my reference though. That would be good. All right. There we go. No, don't do that. Oh, Jesus. No one's watching this anyway. That's fine. All right. Here we go. For real this time. This is a black dog, which I might go ahead and go in with a brush later, because uh, doing it with this pen is going to be painful. Uh, yeah, doing an entire black dog with this little thingy, like, alright, maybe, maybe I'll use a brush, maybe. I don't usually, but sometimes you gotta, because that's way too much black. I should have washed this, but whatever. I'll wash it later. I don't want to see me, want to see me drawing. Okay. I still need to see my reference though. I wasn't being lazy yesterday, I just got busy. Very busy. Wednesdays, I go to the shop, I get my new books, even though I don't have money for these books. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, I don't have a job. I shouldn't be buying comics, but I'm going to keep buying comics. <laughs> it's fine. Um, hopefully, I'll have a job soon or some kind of income. That would be fantastic. I started watching a movie this morning called Sisters of the Plague. 
uh, and it's by, there were two movies that came out, uh, one was in 2012 called Toad Road, and I really loved it, and it was kind of a horror movie, but kind of a cautionary tale, sort of, uh, about Uh, some kids that are kind of like not very responsible. They do a lot of drugs and they don't take their life seriously. And um, so it's like about their relationship, and then they decide to go to a place called Toad Road that uh, it's like in the woods in Pennsylvania. And if you go deep enough, you like go to the en entrance to hell. So uh, I wouldn't, it's messed up. It's really messed up. Not like in a gory, tortury way. It's just really freaking sad. Is really sad. And it's one of the few movies I actually rewatched that came out in the 2010s. I haven't I haven't rewatched a lot of movies. If I rewatch something, it's because I haven't watched it in like 20, 25 years. Like a lot of 80s horror movies I haven't watched since I was like 10 years old. So I I do revisit those things just to refresh my memory. It's been long enough that I don't remember. So Uh, so Toad Road, I really loved. So this is their, Sisters of the Plague is their third movie. Felt was their second. Felt was all right. It wasn't as good as Toad Road. But very low budget. Just interesting stories. And then like kind of surprise endings. I, I'm like an hour into it, so I'm kind of bracing for a surprise. Uh, I would like to make a movie like that someday. I think that's why I'm attracted to those kind of movies. That I want to make a movie. I feel like I could do it if they could do it. <laughs> I just need to write a good enough story. Writing takes a lot of patience for me, so I don't do it very often. I'd rather just draw. Uh, I used to write a lot. I used to write short stories when I was like a teenager, you know? and like when I was a kid, I would uh, dictate stories to my dad and he would type them up and kind of leave a square for me in the middle to do a drawing. So I have good memories of that, doing that with my dad. But they were like very short stories. I was like seven years old. Some of them were scary. <laughs> uh, I'll find them someday. They're somewhere in my mom's closet, but I have no idea where. And it's under a lot of shit. So I'm not even gonna bother. Oh yeah, so to get back on topic. Sisters of the Plague. And eh, whatever, Tom Prime, you can go watch it. It's alright so far. 
like I said, they, there's usually like something really cool at the end. Like, I guess not a twist, but like something surprising, something really dramatic. It's like, oh shit, I didn't expect that. I think it's like a group of friends making the movie though. The movies. Because there's a lot of the same cast. Which makes sense. Because since they're low budget, they're probably like not paying themselves anything. Like, yeah, let's just make this movie. Damn, I need friends to do that. I hate needing other people for things. I'm supposed to uh, adapt the script that my sister sent me. But I have a really hard time like sitting down to to like read things sometimes. Uh, I waste way too much time on the internet. <laughs> Not that I don't have the time. I'm fairly busy for an unemployed person. I guess that's what happens if you volunteer. Like, sure. Like, I do my internship, my paper cup internship on Wednesdays. I do my volunteering at Kitty Time two days a week. I have a set date to see my best friend on Sunday afternoons after my kitty kind shift. I managed to stay busy. I feel a lot better when I can draw every day. Oh, this is not so bad. It's not a huge drawing, so I don't want to mess that up though. I want it to look like fur. Just want it to be lighter. Use the ears and eye. All right, I. This is different for me because I don't usually incorporate lettering. I don't like lettering, uh, especially if I'm trying to copy someone else's. Lettering in my own handwriting is one thing. That's whatever. It's just writing. But you need to. kind of have to, especially when you're trying to do a likeness, like I try to kind of play, connect the dots with uh, like the shadows. So like this big shadow of the ear, uh, it kind of connects to the shadow that goes under the eye. And if you get the shapes accurate and like the, you know, the distances right, that's how you get a good likeness. One of the ways anyway. 
I don't know that I'm any good at likeness, but it's a fucking black dog, so it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, when I've done my own pets, I think it's pretty accurate, and other people's pets, but at the same time, it's like, it's not going to be as glaringly obvious as if it's a human portrait. I could be wrong. They're uh, shutting down. <laughs> They're not going to reopen the movie theater by me. It makes me so sad. I'm so sad. Man, I've been going to that theater since I was fucking 15 years old. I'm so sad. I saw like every movie there. I did cocaine in that bathroom. <laughs> uh, I literally would bring Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> to the movie. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. I hate Thanksgiving. And, uh, well, all right. My ex and I were the only vegetarians in the family, so we would... We would go to his grandparents' house and not eat. Well, he would eat some food. I would just be like, I have to eat with my family. Um, and then we would go to my uncle's house or to be with my family at their house. Uh, and usually have like cousins and uncles. Sometimes I would have friends come. Um, and then we would go to the movies. <laughs> so everyone else would eat, but since we were the only vegetarians, we, I would just make a separate meal for us and we would take it into the movies. And we didn't care if they were embarrassed. It was fun. I'm not looking for the holidays are gonna be fucking weird again. Like Easter was weird just seeing my family on a Zoom call. It was awkward. Well not awkward, but it was like eh, alright, sorry guys. We'll have a real holiday sometime. I don't really like family gatherings anyway, but you know, I get used to them. I don't give a shit about sports, so there's always sports on, and then I'm always watching it. Uh, no one there is my age. And I have a lot of cousins. I have a lot of cousins. A lot. They're my family. I, I, they're all right. Some I'm closer to than others.
I didn't pencil out these shadows very well, so we'll see what happens. I'm not confident enough just to go straight and ink. <laughs> My drawing ain't that good. Uh, because my vision is left-sided, like my left eye, I don't really have, I depend a lot on my right eye. So sometimes my drawing will lean if I'm not conscious of it. So I'm constantly like fixing things because I realize like, no, that's too much. <laughs> it's too much leaning right because that's, that's the eye that I use. So I have to be very conscious of it. This is gonna be fun trying to do too. Yes, and do the do the black thing. That's gonna take you forever to ink. It's okay. I had to clean my room. But we'll see if that happens today. Because yeah. I was just thinking that because I have to do two drawings. Well, I don't have to, but if I want to catch up, I have to do two. So doing that and cleaning my room might be a little bit unrealistic. But of course I'm going to do the thing that I want to do, which is draw. <laughs> I can clean another time. If I catch up now, I can clean tomorrow and just do one drawing. I take my time too. I'm jealous of the people that are just like, here's my drawing. Not fair. It's okay. I like doing this. If I if I was quick, I need the distraction. This shit takes me hours. So then I have less hours to figure out with what to do with during the day. I don't have to keep myself busy. So I'm busy now. Because I'm doing this drawing that's going to take me forever. But I love it. I've been having the urge to do comics again. Not not the one I'm supposed to be doing, just like some short ones in my sketchbook. In another week, it will mark two years that I have lived in this house, which makes me wanna cry. Uh, I'm not gonna complain because I'm not homeless. I just want my own space. 
this is very much their house. Which is fine, because it is. I am a guest. And I definitely feel like one. <sighs> oh. After this, I'm probably going to do that. A nice costume bet. I don't even need the prompts. There's a million things I want to draw. The nose is a little hard because it's very black. And I want it to look very black. But I have to leave enough light in a few places. I'm starting to get really bored. I mean, just with my life. <laughs> and not doing normal things. It's, it's getting to me a little bit. I mean, I don't, I don't really have that many friends in the first place, but it's like, I just want to go out and do something. I wouldn't mind going to a show. I, I do that by myself anyway. And just in general, like, uh, am I going to go to this person's house? I I want to see people, but, like, we got to meet outside. Do I 
This is what you feel safe. There's a lot of stupid people out there. I don't necessarily feel safe everywhere. So I stay home and watch movies and draw and listen to audiobooks and sing really loudly for the neighbors. <laughs> So I had this song stuck in my head for like two weeks. Tomorrow it will be three weeks, but it was pretty bad. And then, what was it? I think it was like Sunday. I just played it nonstop over and over again, like trying to tire myself of it. <laughs> but it didn't really work. So then I started listening to songs that had gotten stuck in my head in the past for prolonged periods of time I started listening to some of those <laughs> uh, so now I have like three songs which is better than one <laughs> uh, I have a little OCD playlist in my head I might just, uh, I might not go in with too much black here. I might just, because it's very shiny, it almost looks gray. So I might just paint it and that would make my life easier. Because I'm going to paint the can anyway, the soup can. A lot of fur. A lot of fur. I gotta go to the supermarket too. Oh, okay, actually, next to that. That's where the fur ends. You gotta make sure. Doing the lines the right way. Because the fur is going to look weird. I hate it when that happens. Coming along, chugging, loading. I'm 
so sorry. This is taking forever, and people don't want to watch this. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. Yeah, I made the fur going in the wrong direction. <laughs> pay attention. That's why you have to pay attention. That's all right, because that is the blackest part, I think, on the drawing anyway. So I'll just go over it, and that's going to be extra black. Yes. My backpack, one of the straps broke, so um, I had to carry around the purse. I hate purses because um, I, I always, wherever I go, I carry a book and I carry a water bottle. So uh, yesterday I had to carry a freaking purse and it has a metal chain and I have sensitive skin and like it looks like I have a hickey. But it's for my freaking purse. I didn't even get it in a fun way. <laughs> Just from fucking walking around. I think I'm gonna have to do that because I don't want to mess it up. It's gonna be too much black. And it's gonna look blobby. And I don't want a blob blobby dog. That's it for now, for that. All right, that might be it for now. I'll probably uh, pin for my Patreon. So I'll see you guys later.